guys and welcome back to our channel a little bit hippie so today I've started to run out of a couple of things so I thought I would share with you how I make my own I've got an anti-inflammation uh, tea that I make up uh, from my own herbs from the garden and some wild pick plantain that grows along the creek there I've also run out of uh, washing powder so I thought I'd show you how I make my own so let me just grab the parsley from the fireplace where it's been drying and we'll get into making the tea. Okay, so we've got some dried plantain, some dried thyme and some dried parsley. All of them have wonderful therapeutic benefits. Plantain is a weed. Most people will pluck it out, but I don't think people realize how much of a powerhouse herb this is. This can be used in teas, in balms. It's great for infections of the skin. If you've got dry, irritated skin, make it into a balm and rub it on, it's perfect. But it's also very gentle and cleansing on the gut. It doesn't just work on the gut, it works on the system as a whole as an anti-inflammatory. So does parsley. Parsley is actually renowned for helping us women with our hormones, particularly that time of the month. This can really help with that form of inflammation. Thyme, again, is another powerhouse herb for inflammation. It was also brilliant if you've got a head cold and you've got that scratchy cough, thyme. Drink thyme tea warm with a little bit of honey in it. It's absolutely perfect. So I thought I'll show you how I make my tea. It's really simple. First of all, you need a mortar and pestle. And literally, we are going to bash up all these herbs, throw them in a tub, mix them up, there's your tea. Pretty easy, hey? dried plantain so here's some I prepared earlier and I want even quantities of parsley thyme and plantain give it a good shake up to combine it all and there you go there's your anti-inflammatory tea. It is the bomb. So arthritis sufferers, gout, people with gout, this is highly recommended. Uh, I must um, try it on Mark. Is it sad to say that I want him to have a bout of gout? Just so I can try my tea. Anyway, there you have it guys. Anti-inflammatory tea, you want one teaspoon of that to one cup of boiling water and let it steep for about 10 minutes to just get all the benefits out of it. I like using those little tea infusers that you put into your teacup and just leave it in there to, to steep. But however you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. Anti-inflammatory tea. So easy. Why would you buy it? super easy and so super cheap why more people don't make it I just don't know anyway so we want a cup of each now you can up this if you want to make extra it's entirely up to you so we want electric soda so you can find this in the washing powder aisle of any supermarket cooking salt this helps soften the water now I find with my washing powder just using these i don't need to use any form of softener whatsoever but i believe you can use white vinegar as a softener can't say i've tried it though because i haven't needed um and soap flakes now i'm pretty sure i got the lux 
soap flakes. Again, you can find them in the washing uh, powder aisle. So I literally want one cup of each. Give it a bit of a mix around. Now, you don't have to add any scents to this whatsoever. It smells like soap, it's really nice, but I love eucalyptus oil. I love it. So I always put some eucalyptus oil and I use a good Australian eucalyptus oil. Go by your nose. If you only want a mild scent in there, just put, I don't know, maybe 40 drops in there. But use your nose. I like it quite strong. I have just one of these little handy pails that I put my soap powder in. I've just kept a little scoop. I don't know what it came with, to be honest, but it seems to be the perfect size. So I just use one heap scoop into one load of washing. Now I just have a old school twin tub washing machine. I love my washing machine. He's absolutely awesome and he does a ripper job. I find that, cause I bucket the water in, we're completely off grid here. So I use one scoop to a load of washing, which is the same size as any washing machine. This will also work in a top loader or a front loader. I do believe for a front loader though, I would halve a scoop, halve the scoop. Anyway, put it in your bucket. I still like to give it a good shake around just to make sure that there's no clumps of that oil through it. And there you go, all done as I throw it all over the floor. This will last me probably a month. It's just Mark and I, we don't have a bunch of kids or anything, unless you call the fairy kids. You know, they do create a bit of a mess. So <laughs> anyway, that's it guys. Cheap to make, lasts for ages. I think in total, you'd be looking at oh, a couple of dollars for the salt, a few dollars for the washing soda. And oh, I think it's around five or $6 for a box of soap flakes. So all up, that tub there would have cost me maybe a dollar. It lasts for ages. So, and this whole, the, the soap flakes, I mean, I've had that box of soap flakes, but I couldn't even tell you how long now. So give it a go. It's so easy and it'll save you a fortune in the long run. subject of cleaning things I've run out of all-purpose cleaner too it doesn't get any easier white vinegar straight white vinegar then I add lemongrass now these are essential oils pure essential oils lemongrass and peppermint you can add eucalyptus or tea tree oil if you prefer peppermint is also antibacterial so I prefer these two, but absolutely, eucalyptus or tea tree oil would do the same thing. So white vinegar straight into the spray bottle. Peppermint oil uh, for this size spray bottle, which is what, 500 ml, um, I'd probably put 20 drops, maybe 30. Go with your nose. I mean, obviously, if it's going to be too potent, then um, 
don't put too much peppermint in because it can really burn your eyes. And then the lemongrass, again, go with your nose. Um, so I ended up putting 20 drops of the peppermint in. I think I might put the same of the, the lemongrass as well. Every time you go to use it, make sure you give it a really good shaking up first. The oils can sit at the top otherwise. That's it. And it smells awesome. You just know it's clean when you can smell that. A matter of a couple of dollars and that will last you yonks. You can use that on anything. It's actually really good on stainless steel too, being that it's vinegar. You can also use it on windows. Again, vinegar. It's perfect. It's absolutely fantastic. I use it on the bathroom, the toilet, the kitchen, lounge room, you name it. That's what I use. Give it a go, guys. Well, that's all we have time for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. By all means, send me a message, leave a comment. I love hearing from you. So make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Please find all the information down the bottom in the comments section. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Take care guys and remember, live life to the fullest, love beyond words and laugh like no one can hear you. Bye.